Do you have a Facebook group or maybe you're thinking about starting a Facebook group and you need a Facebook group cover to share with people exactly what your group is about? My name is Stacia Kennedy and I am an online marketing coach. I love teaching and training people how to grow their business online. And one of the ways is using a Facebook group. I've been doing online marketing now for 10 years. So thanks for being here on the channel. If you like these types of videos, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss a beat. If you are a Canva user, I'm going to show with, share with you today how to use Canva or if you've never you know, seen the site before. It's a free site called canva.com. I'm going to share with you my screen right here. And it's very, really awesome. It actually has a lot of different templates for all the different social media assets that you may need. Instagram, YouTube thumbnails. Um, I have another tutorial on that too. They also have Facebook group uh, or Facebook cover and you can actually go here on the front end and start typing in what exactly you need. Um, the thing is, is Facebook changes their sizes and designs all the time and Facebook group cover is not here. They do have a Facebook cover but if you look uh, very closely the size that they have uh, here is 820 by 312 unfortunately they don't have the size that I'm looking for because when I tried to use this one it didn't come out right it just it looked really blurry because the size was too small so I went and did some research oh Google so Facebook group cover photo size the actual size is 16 by 40 by 856 pixels so this actually happens very not very often but if there's a specific size that you can't find on the canvas site here what you'll need to do is you'll start fresh go to create a design and use custom dimensions canva let me tell you is free to use and um, this is the way that you have to do it here you can resize your images with the paid version but if you start fresh from the beginning and go to custom design, um, and you can actually put in the exact size that you need. So 1640 by 856. So I'm just going to put here 1640 by 856. Create a design. So there's a ton of ways to do this. And if you are not technically or design savvy they have a bunch of templates here that they will pop up even though this template that they had originally um, all the templates on the front end wasn't showing up so i made this uh, as my facebook cover page on my personal profile um, and the reason why you see this image up here the call to action a little bit further up is so that people could actually see this on mobile so you really have to play with your designs canva has a bunch of great designs that'll pop up or templates on the left hand side it necessarily is not um mobile friendly they're just really cool designs if you are you know not a designer these are just really cool ones that you can probably pick and use and and it will work for the meantime but if you want to make sure that things are mobile optimized um, you will probably have to test out some of the designs and see how it looks like on mobile. So this is the design I use for my Facebook profile page. But for the Facebook cover, um, I've used something like this. And I really, I mean, you just go into elements. There's so many cool things, like I said before, like there's a photo section and a lot of the stuff is free that comes with Canva. Uh, the only thing that you have to pay for is maybe a premium stock photo that is, um, see a lot of them say free, free, free. So you can use these photos here. Elements, uh, the only thing that I use here on elements is if maybe I need an arrow. And you can type in here if you are searching for a certain type of icon or shape. Like I'll use an arrow like this and make it smaller and maybe even use the rotating thing to point down to the button um, rotate it like this make it smaller you have to really always tell people where to go helping you build your empire so literally I have to like 
I just kind of test how things look. I've put this shape here. Um, I've used these grids with different photos. Um, down here, I use this fr the frames here for the circle. You can search all, you can click on all to see all the different types. Like if I wanted to put a computer with a, my picture on it instead of the circle, I could do that. Um, and you can literally just go to uploads and upload your picture. And it's really great to have you know, branded photos taken of yourself, or even just go out with your girlfriends and do a photo shoot um, and use them for your stuff. So delete the circle back there. That's how I created that template. Um, this is fun. This actually looks probably even better. Let me know what you think. So that's how you can create a custom size in Canva and use um, this for your Facebook group. Uh, make sure you put, you know, what the group is about and how you help people and you can go to text. I'm kind of going over real quick on how to use Canva, but hopefully you're already a Canva user and it's just really about testing things out and what they look like. Um, see all these different text formats. Uh, another quick tip is that if you grab one of these, um, templates they're grouped in this um, the text section they're grouped in a certain way right so you can actually ungroup them if you want to move it to a different you know style but they group it in the way uh, it's designed um, but you can always make it smaller um, you know change out the text change out the color change out what it says You know, things like that. So I just wanted to show you some different options on how you can design your Facebook group cover. If you have any questions, let me know. You can always find me and make sure to join the Online Marketing Strategies Facebook group. There will be a link below in the description. And make sure, don't forget to subscribe and keep watching some of my videos. We'll talk to you soon on the next one. Much love and aloha.